Star Rookies, they're here, and today we're gonna box 2122 Upper Deck Star Rookies box set featuring one 25 card rookie set per box. So, this box has 25 of the Star Rookies for the 2122 rookie crop. Now, in terms of rookies, I'm sure there's some notable omissions for the top 25 in here, but I'm not even gonna speculate. You know, some guys that made their debut might have cards in 22, 23 that aren't in here, so I'm not even gonna go there. But the ones that we can get in here means that they'll be in the 21, 22 crop, and some of these guys have hardly any cards. Now, also, autographs are one per case, one per 20 boxes. Actually, last year I was fortunate to pull one just from one Star Rookies box. I would also like to point out some of these Star Rookies autos have crazy value. Like look at this Trevor Zegers sold for 750 US dollars. So some great upside in there. I doubt that card will remain that high but a lot of these guys don't have autos right now so that's why it's probably that high. 22 of 25 have autographs. Interestingly enough the three omissions are Alex Barre Boulay, Zach Jones, and Mason McTavish. So hopefully let's get an autograph. If not there's probably some decent value in here because a lot of these guys don't actually have a whole lot of cards but before I get you on this box costs like 20 Two dollars. I think it's probably like ten dollars more. Your best pals, but let's get right into it. Okay, star rookies. We should actually see some photography from the 21-22 season here because there was actually a handful of 2021 picks that made their debut. Okay, got this open here. So here's a 25 card set. Starting off with Cole Caulfield, one of the headliners from the 21-22 crop. There. So this might have some decent value. Some of the top guys will have some value there. Trevor Zegers. These two guys probably not as high as you'd think because they already have the young guns and several other rookies. But here we go. There's Trevor Zegers there. Yeah, Jeremy Swayman. So these guys are all in series one. One there. Alex Newhook, who has a camps in Series 1. He should have regular in Series 2 there. Spencer Knight there. All the top guys from Series 1 are pretty much here. Grigori Denisenko. Former first rounder there. Denisenko. There's Drysdale. So some familiar guys here. Quentin Byfield. Got a Already confirmed to be in Series 2 for the regular young guns. There's a Kalen Addison. There's Ross Colton. Shane Pinto. So we got some Series 1 guys here. Barre Boulay. Another Series 1 guy there. Yessi Yolanin. Former second rounder there of the Habs there in 2018. Zach Jones. Another Series 1 guy. Alex Holt. Fairly highly touted guy for the devils there sniper there first rounder in 2020 and this got me thinking i'm pretty sure we're not going to see dawson mercer in here that's one that automatically comes to mind as an omission hopefully he's in series two or extend or something i don't know if he's in here but there's nil bunkfist the defenseman there got cole perfetti like some of these guys they have like a victory rookie from like national hockey card day but not much else right now like this guy mort cider so this one probably has the most value of any of these here so there's mort cider there's my first card of him there you go there's a vasily pod colson there's my first card of him also and hey there's luke Lucas Raymond, another one that'll have pretty decent value there. Behind it, hey, Phil Tomasino. I mean, the Preds are about to get swept, but that one will go to the junior team I follow collection there. Anton Lundell, very good season for Florida there. So there's that. There's Mason McTavish, now in the Hamilton Bulldogs. The OHL there, he should be in the NHL next year. Got William Eklund, a 2021 pick there. Actually, McTavish also a 2021 pick there. So see what he does next year. And we got Jake Neighbors, 2020 pick there, first rounder. So there is the box set. So yeah, guys, there's a box set. I'm just going to say there's some notable omissions here. I do not want to get in to it because it's kind of hard to predict who's going to be in what set and i'm just not going to go there but i would say the value is really solid right now obviously a lot of these cards are going to go down value once more guys get more rookie cards but right now really solid value get a bunch of rookie cards of the new guys so well, there's a box set let's open some mail while we're at just a couple of packages here okay theory hey. 11 charlie kenny here and i was super excited when you opened up my letter recently you really make me laugh a lot and my two-year-old brother always shouts out three boss nice i've watched so many of your videos have you inspired me to start my own instagram account i am Vrana card collector and would love if you checked out my page will do i wanted to send you a few more cards for your collection please open the one in the ziri gaming wrapper last hope you enjoy the cards and thanks again for the awesome videos well i appreciate that yes i hope you get some nice cards for your best pals against zoo thanks charlie age six like let's give some huge props to charlie here like that's some excellent writing for a six-year-old like that's probably on my level of writing right there and charlie six k all right charlie let's see what you sent so i'm guessing he's talking about that one there well first off off here from Charlie, we got this custom Kale Makar card. Pretty close to the signature there, so there's Makar with a McKinnon on the back. 34 of 50. Alright then, now it looks like we got an ITG card here. Wayne Cashman has like the 71, 72 design there. 72 design there, so there you go, Wayne Cashman. Mm -hmm. Evgeny Kuznetsov. We got a Maxim Comtois captains from Tim's Team Canada. Nephew Tyler Platinum Base. The Kiefer Bellows Marquee Rookies. Hey, Sergey Fedorov Super Rookie. That's cool there. Intimidation Nation. Jonathan Quick. Best in the World. Sebastian Ajo. And. <laughs> Firmly. Frick right off, Brad. 9798 from Skybox. <laughs> Alright, final thing from Charlie here. Oh, we got a fake Wayne Gretzky rookie. Okay, so there's that. Fake Wayne Gretzky rookie. Okay, I'll put that with my fake Ovechkin future watch. So, Charlie, thank you so much for that package. Awesome package right there. Greatly appreciate it. Wow. Alright, next package here. What the heck is this? Thank you for purchasing a Lightning Strike Mystery Pack. I don't remember purchasing anything, but okay. I, in fact, actually 
actually did not purchase anything, nor was this sent to me intentionally. Actually, James was behind this. He actually bought a few for himself and sent me one. I'll get into more info after I open it up. Oh, I should also point out these mystery packs initially cost $55 US free shipping. So there's that. Really appreciate the support and genuinely hope you enjoy your cards. Feel free to share your hits and tag me at 813 Hockey Cards on Instagram so I can see what you get. Liam, 813 Hockey Cards. Huh, so this is a mystery pack from 813 Hockey Cards. Okay. I should probably go on Instagram more than once every several months. But let's see what we have in store here. First off, got some young guns here. Tyler Benson, young guns. I mean, this is a mystery pack. Okay. We got Vitaly Kravtsov, young guns. Some 2021 young guns there. Ethan Bear, authentic rookies jersey. Hey, Jonathan Huberto, extravagant materials from 2021. 1920 SPX there. That's nice. Very nice there. Got an Arctic Freeze of Carey Price in 99. That's very good there. Nice. Price. I'll go to my Platinum Collection there. Got Peyton Krebs, Trilogy Rookie Premieres Level 1 to 9.99. Got a Mark Pissick, Titanium Rookie Auto there. We got a Jake Bean, Future Watch Auto. Dang. FWA, Jake Bean. I think this was an update, I think, because Bean didn't have autos initially in 1819, so it's like a 1920 update, I'd like to say. But there you go, Jake Bean. He's in Columbus now. Being at Columbus, uh, here's the final card. Here, Luke Dubois. Exquisite Collection Rookie Signatures. Obviously on the Jets now. We'll see what his future is with the Jets there, but 65 and 99. Wow, that was really solid there. If I have any more info on this, I'll just throw it in right now. So I did get in contact with 813 Hockey Cards. Like always, I'm late to opening stuff in the mail. These are no longer available for sale. That being said, I still want to give 813 Hockey Cards a shout out. So go check out his YouTube channel. Great channel there. Some good content there, but cool leaves. But yeah, 813 Hockey Cards. Be sure to go check out his Lightning Strike Mystery Packs if he still has some available. Seems like a very non-hostile mystery pack there. I know a lot of them are quite sketchy, especially the ones on eBay there, but that one looks to be very solid so i'll conclude this video so yeah guys stay tuned for more breaks to come and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later oh one last thing totally not trying to get this video to eight minutes but i will say this something special will happen once we hit 50,000 subscribers so if you're listening to this right now and you're not subscribed be sure to subscribe i don't try to shove it down people's throat but something special will happen once we reach that number so just keep that in mind i might start shoving that down people's throat more soon so <laughs> stay tuned for that